<laughs> What's up, people? What's up, people? I know you guys. Are this is called the we're not going to give you that big old wake up. You are supposed to be up anyway. Anyway, this is a good day to scream at your boss. So if you guys want to take a moment before you lock into those computers, go into that CEO office, turn around, give him the butt shot and scream at him and run down the hall and get out the building before security catch up with you. All right. We, uh, <laughs> the station disavows. <laughs> Do so at your own risk. That's right. I'm taking it off Justin because it's the same stuff. All right. All right. Justin, we don't know why Justin. We don't know why. We don't know why Justin. I think I know what it is, but we have no time. Well, let's roll. Yeah. We yeah, yeah, yeah. will try. Come on, everybody. Turn that thing down and get ready for school. It's time for Morning Coffee, the show that comes to you live and unscripted, all the way from the Chocolate Milky Way. That's right. Crenshaw LeMert, <laughs> all the way from the crazy lands, I'm Mario Hemsley. My partner in crime is right there, Victor Allen, and we welcome you to Morning Coffee. Hey, what's up, you guys? You know, I'm not trying to say this is not a good day. Yesterday was unbelievable, man. It was Sunday morning, the rain, clear air, no smog. I had some Cold. blessings come down on me, and now we're at Monday. Do you want to scream at your CEO or just take Monday off, Mario? Which one is it? I think they want to scream at the CEO and take Monday off. But we want you to keep your job is actually such a bad economic environment. Hey, you guys, come on now. We're going to be talking about some stuff today. Everybody's waiting on the Michael Jackson murder trial. Excuse me. Manslaughter. It's a manslaughter trial. Right. Conrad Murray. They're waiting on the verdict, Vic. That's what we're talking about. Hey, Lindsay Lohan was in jail this time for six hours. Oh. Hey, I hope she didn't get her hair messed up. Oh, six hours. That's six hours, man. Right. Boy, it pays to be a rich white woman. Oh. <laughs> a pretty one. Man, six hours in jail. Andy Rooney dead, you guys. Herman Cain, fourth accuser coming forth. We got some great announcements about upcoming showcases here at Pack Stereo. It's going to be crazy, y'all. Hey, you guys, you know, we're going to follow you up with that wonderful sports weekend. We know a couple of things happen. We know that you actually watch sports, watch women, watch your health, and watch other people's aggravation. But we're here because we bring you the new new. GNN in the house, PMC in the house, Hot Picks is waiting. Is Tebow a qualified quality cor quarterback? We're going to talk about What do you ask you got to do? You, you won. He won. I'm asking Man. the question. This is not for you. <laughs> you Man, got they got Tebow. The Tebow, Tebow, either it's Tebow or Kim Kardashian. <laughs> That's the hottest stuff. Ain't that wild, though? <laughs> Tebow, Kim hey. Kardashian. Hey, man, that's all right. Kim visited her ex already. You know it takes a long time to get over your ex, Mario. You know that, right? Hey, late night booty calls are in effect. That's cold. That's cold, <laughs> man. You're supposed to support those evolving relationships. Aren't you best friends with your ex-girlfriend? I sure am. It's all about love. You know what, see? You ain't even sincere about that, dude. I am. You can tell the sincerity in my face. That's not even sincere, dude. That's cold. You know what? If I was watching this show, think about your mother. She's right now going, that's my son. <laughs> she understands. <laughs> Hey, you guys, come on. It's going to be a crazy day. Some good announcements, too. Come on, everybody. Do your morning exercises. Loosen up. That's right. Get all your stuff. Let's just do what we came to do. B. Come on. Just B. 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 Cool. Oh, all right. You know what? I think when people do shows like this, they should always think about the loved ones that's watching them and cringing. What's up, GNN PMC? What's oh, up, Eddie Gray? Me. Can't wait for that big old album uh, release party. And then also Christian Commodore Marvin Spiller. Oh, Jesse Lewis IV. Everybody hollering. Ain't got no time to say thank you to everybody, man. Your time, Mario. Wow, that's, hey, that's wonderful. We do have stuff. That's part of the announcement, you guys. Eddie Gray, CD launch. Wow. In effect, plus he's going to be here. Next Tuesday, yeah, to talk about it, and not just him. We're going to have Suzette Tomlinson in the house to give it that extra special flavor. <laughs> She'll be here tomorrow too. Yes. So you guys, it's going to be a wonderful day in the neighborhood. You got to check that out, Suzette Tomlinson tomorrow. Then next week, Tuesday, Suzette again. When we have Eddie Gray in the house to talk about his new release, 
It's going to be hot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You all mm, ready mm, for him, man? Mm, I think we're ready. We're getting ready. Not just that, you guys, but those of you who've been following the Facebook communication between me and some of the folks out there know that we've been talking with Lillian Perry, Phil Perry's wife. You know, it's not just management, it's management. <laughs> And that's the lie she told me. Right. But we've got it all solidified for Phil Perry coming on the show on the 21st. So we're going to have a special show dedicated to the life and time, a celebration of the music, the magistry of Phil Perry. And we're going to get a chance to talk about some other topics and things that they're very much involved in. So you know how I like to do it. Yeah. We're going to have a nice full-length show, especially on the 21st. Everything else kind of preempted as we focus on... The sensational one, Mr. Phil Perry. Sounds good. That's the 21st. Yes, sir. All right, you guys. Got to also let you know, Paul Russo, uh, Irvin Foster, myself, we've been talking, uh, got a me- meeting for tomorrow uh, to talk about things, but we're working on getting, some pro- getting the project underway. So you may be seeing some more live music sooner than you think as we are headed into debating, discussing, laying out this whole issue of the upcoming year and what we're going to be recording and releasing. It looks like there's going to at least be a top, you know, top 40 oldies kind of a series, a legacy series. We call it Master of Old School. That is coming. Right. Also, Paul Russo, some individual releases through him. Right. And then it's the whole idea of bringing, of putting together sort of a band. Right. Uh, consisting of so far Irvin Foster, John Pace on drums. Irvin Foster, my writing partner on keyboards and piano. John Pace on drums and maybe Paul Russo on sax and some people to jam here in the studio, Vic. You so guys going to invite any women? I, I don't mind all the men jamming, but can y'all like surround the ambiance and the whole thing with some women? Well, I hopefully, <laughs> hopefully with our assistance, you and I will be finding some vocalists, right, to sit in with the group. I think that's a yes. He that's just said, a yes. He, he that's said well, he, <laughs> we're going to do it. We're going to do it. They're going to do it. Okay, you guys. So that's part of the announcements that I had to get out uh, for this week. Uh, so, Suzette, all right, I told you that. Now, you guys, also, Vic, we got to tell them about the wonderful new phone <laughs> upgrades because it's affecting how we're interacting right. with everybody, you guys. We bit the bullet. I'm not saying everybody has to get an iPhone, just a smartphone of some kind, probably. Yeah. And Android also would work. Yeah. But Vic and I bit the bullet at some expense, because that's the issue with the iPhone, there's some expense involved. Yeah. Uh, and we upgraded to the new iPhone 4S series. Yep. Uh, and are attempting to integrate and use all the things that we have already been using with that. So far, it's been working sort of smoothly for me. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have some good reports for you who, you guys who are using the iPhones or using smartphones like that on how to interact with some of the channels. One of the things that I got a chance to play with, Vic, was introduced to by uh, Derek Pipkin. Right. I'll tell you about that in just a second. Was Bump. It's this application that you download on your uh, iPhone, and then when you and I can tap phones, right. boom, and bump our hands like right. that, right. and transfer our information to each other. It, it, I mean, what, <laughs> instantly. What, you, what about the problem? What about fecal matter? No, that's why you do it like this <laughs> do a closed hand. See how lack of touch? See how we're making greater distances thanks to the technology. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. But you'll be safe. <laughs> Is that terrible? <laughs> Wait, look. I think there's some wonderful things that's happening with the iPhone. I think some people are confused because the more applications you get, it will pull on the energy drain. You know, everybody always talk about, I, you know, I, I don't want to have to sit back and kindly, constantly charge it. I said, well, you've got more applications within it. By definition, it takes up more of your time. I, yeah. You know what that and means. I, exactly, Vic, exactly right. Now, I'm working on some lifestyle issues. Like, for one, when I get in the car, I plug it up USB. Because right. my car stereo and a lot of the new car stereos, even the ones that are inexpensive, right. have a USB port on it. Thank you. So I plug it into my car stereo USB. They also have charges you can get for the car. So when you're in the car, you can leave it charging while you're using it. And yeah. then when I'm at home, I plug it up to the computer. Yeah. But you guys, I'm loving it. I, and there's a lot, there's tons of applications for use with broadcasting. And that's the part I'm playing with. Also, things like Pandora. The fact that I can select an artist and have a full musical playlist selection right. automatically generated for me. Things like Genius. Right. Within the iPod, that's where another one where you pick a song and they'll give you a mix based on that song. 
So a lot of those things are really hot. We'll keep you updated on that. Right. And we'll also be dealing with some of that on the community manager meeting that's coming up on Tuesday. Uh, might be moving it to 8 o'clock. It depends. i got to talk to Vic. It's usually at 7, but we might be moving it to 8 o'clock. We'll let you, you, let you all know. So that's the announcement about the, that because we think it's pertinent. A bunch of you are using and watching the shows on phones. And so we're going to tell you how to do that in the ways that work best. Mm. All right? Yeah. Mm. I watch this. One. I got I watch, I got a good question from him. Hey, Mario, how do you like that uh, Facebook application you're using on your phone? Which one? The Facebook application? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. Getting any feedback from everybody? You know, you telling them you're using the phone or you just going like, I'm placing a message and getting out of here? No, I'm, I'm starting to, you know, I'm, okay, here's what I did to you guys. You're going to see me start responding and I'm doing more and more where I respond to text messages with video. <laughs> that's that's now, right. But my head was all nappy. <laughs> see, certain videos I sent, you know, I got some calls in the morning, so I did one of them nappy head videos. Like, you know, you know, like, I did one of them, what are you calling me for? You know, because you want them to feel guilty for waking me up. <laughs> now, by the way, you guys, since I wanted, since we're talking about things like that snapping from the phone, I want you to take a look at this picture that was forwarded to me by none other than Victor Allen. <laughs> That's cold. That's cold. We're in the announcement section. <laughs> That's supposed to be Chris Brown, who tweeted a picture of himself in a lycra, neon green bodysuit with a boner. <laughs> Hey, look. That's what it looks like to me. Now, Vic, <laughs> right. you sent me this picture. What? Thank you once again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. Let me just say this. Yeah. Let me say this. So you don't <laughs> shoot the messengers. <laughs> yeah. Let me just say this. For those of you who are respectable admirers of Lee Bailey, E U R Web. Uh oh. That's where I found that at. So all I did, they got a share button, an email button, a forward button, whatever button you want to use. The same, we got all got the same button. <laughs> right, you got so the, the wonder, of, wonder of technology. Right. We all Thank got you. Facebook Thank share. You. Re, isn't that wonderful, you guys? I, yeah, I'm share, saying. retweet, tweet. And this is the picture that he, they took responsibility to say, Chris Brown. So I said, if they have validated it, they validated it just, that it's Chris Brown, well, right? Is that what they're saying? It just makes those of us who are older kind of piss. See, when you're young, that's where you get affected like that. When you get older, you don't get quite that effect. Because, you know, when you're 19, you get those erections where you can cut diamonds. You can cut glass. <laughs> See, this is not See, right. See, at 55, it's not like that. But that's cool, Chris. Thank you for reminding us. Wait a minute, asshole. Wait a minute, Mario. Mario, let me let me we're just pissed say, off. Wait, let me just we say don't, this. We pissed off. Let me just say this. I, I just let me, let me raise my glasses up on this one. I don't think the message was to sit back and make fun of the. Why guys. you want to? Why you want to? No, your... no, no. The message was for a different group. I know that, but you're still pissing us group? off. What's the group he's targeting? He's trying to tell them ladies out there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But we understand that. He still pissed us the hell off. Why we got to be reminded. You know, that's one of my buddies. Irvin told me that with Vic. He's asking, that's why he don't like to watch pornos. Because he always feels inadequate. <laughs> well, maybe. I said, you well, know how they don't make pornos with people. Everybody in the pornos packing. If you're at a porn site and you have to wait to feel inadequate by being on porn maybe you're inadequate right. started before then well i i want that's our model we wanted you guys to start the day with a bang and to, obviously when we show this kind of picture we notice we don't have the routine comments we have different kind of comments right I, a, but like i said there. mac and them pmc's in the chat room he's like agreeing with me here we mad how old are you guys how old <laughs> every you guys? dude over 45 is pissed off thank you that's you know, why. But if you were 20. If, if you had caught me when I was 19, 20, I could have made pictures my damn self. <laughs> me and my imagination. Hey, All right. This is how we start our Monday off. Somebody asked me, before you go any further, Mark, somebody talked to me and said, you know, it would be nice if you guys can do shows, you know, about, you know, kind of not just entrepreneurism or whatever, just things that tend to, you know, be progressive and productive. And I said, those shows exist all day long. The problem is, is unfortunately, not a lot of people rush to see them show. Hey, but you know what we will do, you guys? When what? you send those people, send those people on here. Because what we will do is a different kind of an interview with them. Oh, yeah. yeah I, well, we take our time and get into them and what, because, you know, we like to know what gets what makes someone tick. Yeah. 
yeah. who goes off and does some of these things because they're unique people just in terms of who even tries, like right. PMC, right. to even you know do this thing, take it upon himself to shoot videos, take his craft, Mac, right. with, you know, 72, right. still... You know, Gangster. charting new, you Gangster. know, yeah, they going after new stuff. That takes a certain kind of mentality right? to even continue doing things. That's why we celebrate these brothers, man. Yeah, yeah no, I'm all for it, man. Yeah. <laughs> See, Max <laughs> pissed off, too. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> call, like, call. He said Chris is hugged like a Clydesdale. <laughs> See, well, I'm, hey, now watch this. Now, let me just prove the point we just went to. See? We, we did a transition to business and, Mac and, is still and the talking. whole thing and what are we talking about i hate to say this this is the part that maybe entrepreneurs have to be a little bit more exciting but this subject trumps i hate to say it well not using donald trump obviously this, but. showing you guys this picture and i'll go i'll show it again yeah. then <laughs> because obviously showing you guys this picture is the thing of the day that's okay okay I just wanted to make the point. I, I do. I look get jealous. Yeah. You know what? You know, first you, of all, you miss something. We got better other skills at my age. I'm gonna tell you what you miss. <laughs> what you we know, miss? You usually have a scream when you show a picture like that. Man. <laughs> so you usually have a scream. Okay. <laughs> oh hell. <laughs> so that's it. See? Oh, what See, you missed time. it. You missed no. it. No. <laughs> Lord, no. No. All right. all right, you guys. All right, man. All right. Got to get started, man. We got to get, get started. You right. gotta get started. Yeah, man. If I, I don't piss anybody. I just remind you of what the competition is out there. So if you older cats that got your role on and you know how to bring the romance, you better be ready now. Your younger cats don't have that. I think. That's why we play this music because it's time for foreplay. <laughs> and what else? It would be a wonderful intro to foreplay than a <laughs> picture of Chris Rock in his neon green lycra. Brown. No, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, Chris Brown. Because Chris Rock, <laughs> then we probably wouldn't have been mad. <laughs> you are wrong, dude. You are wrong. You are so wrong. Chris would say, that's cold, Mara. But okay. Chris, you know what we mean, Chris. You know how to Chris Rock. Anyway, you guys, did you realize, those of you watching, the whole reason behind this show? That's right. This show was born out of an effort to show you what you could and what you should be doing with internet television. That's right. As a beta tester for some of the major software developers, I was privy to where a lot of the development was going. And I used some of that technology to build what is now a 24-hour broadcasting platform that you can run essentially for almost free, certainly inexpensively. But you got to have wonderful staffing. But let's face it, the technology, the time it hit there. Like I tell my friends, it's true. One day's calculators did cost 50 cents and $2, you know. It does happen. So that's why we did this, because we wanted to show you that you should be doing internet television. Now, of course, we took it to a little extra special level, because my buddy over there is working two video switchers, six cameras. I'm working seven PC systems. We are multitasking on steroids, but still, you can have your own internet television channel right now broadcasting in high definition right now you can go to livestream.com and make that profile get that channel going and just play around in cyberspace and that's why we are encouraging you because we will remind you it's not what mario and victor are doing with internet television it's what you could and should be doing with internet television your damn self <laughs> that's right that's right because we know that you're talented we know it and that's why we're encouraging you because we want you to come and help build this community with us. Join the likes of GNM Bureau Chief Mac McAllister, renowned yeah. producer, director of the Retro Jazz and Blues. Yes, sir. Show the number one Retro Jazz and Blues show. You can join him. You can join PMC and his wonderful output of indie artists coming to you live from Pittsburgh. Yes, All sir. of that. That's the man. Kristen Commodore, Eddie Gray. Yep. You can get acapella de general. Mm -hmm. You can tune it all in, ladies and gentlemen, here at Pack Stereo, and they will all have their own channels. But remember, in the end, it's all about you, and that you should have your internet television channel. You should have it now, and we're going to show you how. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, remember, we are doing this because we love living the dream and doing the impossible, and we want to do it along with you. That's right. 
Send, send us that Lycra outfit. You can try purple, uh, yellow. Chris already got the green. Just use a different color, you know. Whatever you do, come on, you know, show them how you can really beat out Chris Brown's Lycra green outfit. I can beat it out. Okay. I can. All right. I can. All right. I can, I can, I can. I'm just saying, man. They see, only why do people like that get away with that? Now, you know... That you can get away when you're a superstar. Yeah, I'm not saying he's because not. that's why back when you have penis like that. <laughs> Just the idea that you can get away with a statement like that and it no harm. But Mario, in your world, if you were to wear that outfit, yes, sir, what would be the response? They probably would laugh. <laughs> that's okay. That's right. I have other attributes. I'm a wonderful right. conversationalist. <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> That's See, cold. you get to be my age. You have to claim other skills. Uh, that, yeah. I'm a wonderful conversationalist, Vic. Yeah. I make a hell of a pasta. Uh, that's after I said. With four cheeses. Well, you know what they say. They say, <laughs> you know, women say they love a man with a strong mind, right? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, Pornhub premium <laughs> membership. There you go. You can do it. You can afford it. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you can. Ooh. All right, you guys, it's time. What time is it, man? Vic, it's time.